Welcome back to Ender's Legends Shifters, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is our hero. Let's go and talk to the Sisters of Mercy. What do you want for your quest? The tribe leader greets you cautiously. Many nations use the same word for stranger and enemy. This tribe seeks some specific resources in order to vet their art and industry. If you manage to obtain them, you will be improved relations between your people. Pacify Sisters of Mercy improve relations. They want 10 titanium. I'm going to be able to make my own pretty soon. And getting an early pacification would mean I could start really digging into the area of Carid. So, parlay. Done. Cost me my titanium. Reward, pacification. Congratulations, now pacified. Happy with your gifts and I'm content to ally. So, they're nice and peaceful. Good, good. So, let's see. I wonder if we're waterborne, can we investigate? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we'll have to land. Right. We have a scout all the way up here. We we're heading down this way to see what I could find. I wonder if we've got enough money to retrofit you yet. I suspect we probably do. So let's go to the army tab. The sky fins. We give you improved movement. So let's edit that and give you improved vision instead because you've already got an absorbable amount of movement so we will click apply that will make the sky fin 3 close that so if we bring you down to our territory over the next few turns Irks is ogres these giant and powerful ogres simple minded but humble and withdrawn their size and shape shows that they are well suited to heavy labor and digging in pits so you're a pretty heavy tank unit Beam, sweep, strike back. Nice. So you're actually in the next area. Freyheim. Might not be a bad place to live. So I want to bring you down to here. And then we'll look at maybe getting you upgraded. Do you have any movement left? No. Let's end that turn. Hope we can get the temple up nice and soon. Complete that part of the quest. So, can we talk to... No. Land. Our lovely white boats. Search. Loot as many treasures as you can in seven turns. So we got ten moon leaf. Next one's eighty gold. Looks like our hero is going for a wonder. <laughs> wonder how far how long it's going to take us to get over there. Four turns apparently. That's um. Yeah, four and a bit turns. That's not. Jag too deeply through enemy territory. You. You want any more skill points? You do. I wanted this. Ignores terrain penalties. So there are going to be some places that might cost us. Yeah, so now we can actually avoid Herner's. These itinerant tribes that follow herds and crops according to the season. Skilled foragers have been living off the land. They are well known for their belligerence and skill with the bow. So, quite a heavy ranged orc then. Fair enough. And you were... Here. So, that area... Holds it. I haven't actually discovered who the, the local tribe is for there. If you want to have a go, you can. But that's a hero unit. So, you are unlikely to want to push your luck. Let's see, do we get the option to retrofit you when I park you in friendly territory? No, the select has a more advanced design. No, that's a shame. Alright, well, make it on that. Let's start, uh, wow! Whoa! So their city is, is three tiles away from mine in the next area. That is close. Wow. Well, there's a point of conflict. And as much as we are doing a quest run, picking off Ipidan would be something I would be highly interested in doing quite early on. Hmm. We're about to get our titanium mine. 12 turns until growth. 6 turns or 11. Right. Let's get that out so we'll get more natural growth and then we can worry about perhaps picking out couple more seekers 
think I will probably actually queue you up. And then we'll see what other bits and pieces we get. So, you are out of movement, so let's end the turn. If you want to start a fight, you're more than welcome. Yep, Alchemy queue. Empty research queue. Okay. Interesting. So that's their hero. These are infantry units versus my cavalry. I've got infantry slayer. You are support. Army boost, spying. I'm ready to fight. Um, start with hold position, and we get to show you what the combat looks like. Minor faction, okay. Banished after the the Roman Khan families left the life of the caravan cities, luxury, and the hardship of warriors. So they're a cavalry unit. So, you see, we've not actually left the battlefield. Uh, what The terrain has become the battlefield. So this is our starting area. We can deploy onto any of these green tiles. So we literally just click the unit and tell them to move around. So we can deploy in the formation we want. They were infantry. So ultimately it comes down to the fact that it's like, so you you pick your deployment. So I am just going to go right up in their face to start with and get our hero who is ranged to start with that. So we're done. We're in our position. Now we select our targeting, which is basically you select your units. Hold position, so they'll stay where they are and then attack what they can. Defensive, um, we're going to, or offensive. You just, uh, it's command, cannot be executed, this will go, or go on the offense. So, what I want to do is tell you to move to there and then attack that. I want you to attack that. I want you to attack that. So, all of my guys are going to try and, offensive, try and attack that unit. So, he should move up. So, I get to go all first. Now, I've got more health and more I've got more health than uh, his unit, so that's in my favour. So it's indicative trying to pick off the wiki units as quickly as possible to minimise incoming damage. So he's done their thing, so I fired. My guys went over there. Attacked. 14 points of damage. 26 points of damage. He's down to 17 at the end of the turn. Ouch, that stung my guy pretty hard. So I will... going to be one for one, but their unit's going to die before my unit. So who goes first? That unit goes first. So they're all die. That unit will then probably die, but then I'll have a turn advantage. So I'll all, I'm always going first. So finish him off. So you attack that one. Only 17 points. You should be at a kill. Then I'll have my hero attack you. Targeting. Yes, okay. So that unit will go first, then the hero, and then these guys will attack that. So they will be down on damage. I will use lose this unit, but then I should have, you'll be slightly damaged. I'll have two healthy units versus the one healthy and slightly damaged, and then I should be able to push onto their hero. Ouch, okay, area effect spell kicked in. Yeah, this isn't working the way I thought it was going to. We are going to lose. Don't know, there's an option to run away. I should have done that before the fight started. They've got some pretty heavy counter-attacking spells. So here's a question. How much damage? Do you have point blank shots? Point blank power. Can I hold control? Yes, move up and then attack. Thirty-six to twenty-five, okay. Move up, get the extra damage. Thirty-six to twenty-five. 
So it's going to be a very costly fight. But we ran out of turns. So I got... <laughs> yeah, should have retreated. But can I... So your unit is down to 12 points of health. My unit is down to 38 points of health. I am going to attack... Move up. I'm going first. Should be a relatively easy kill. Done. Picked off their hero. 30 XP for doing that. So my hero is now pretty badly battered. I click on him. Let's go to the Hero Academy. Can't heal him because he's so far away. He's up to level 3. Well, let's find out what we get with our lust for loot. So, that was expensive. <laughs> but I am happy with the fact that we deprived them of one of their a scouting force, we deprived them of their hero, or we seriously wounded their hero. That's the people, the Ursus we found. The hero now has to spend time recovering and healing. Whereas mine is still alive. A bit battered. I've lost the rest of my units. But, yeah, it looks like they had some uh, quite powerful area effect or counter attack things. Oh, right. What's our science going to be? We haven't unlocked this era. We're, you unlock the next era when you unlock nine technologies. Um, I think I would probably like more food. Don't have dust or rivers. More cash isn't an immediate problem. Um, would be too bad I didn't have those ones. The titanium equipment would probably do quite well since we're hoping to start getting some titanium soon. Pillage. Mercenaries. Fortification recovery. Search party. Sewer system. Alright. Get some food, some sewer systems, and then we'll start getting some uh, armor up. Done. Hoping the reward for this isn't going to be a fight, because it's not going to go very well for us. Let's just carry on scouting with our scout. Twelve turns until winter. The eyeless ones, blind and focus more, or cannot be seen, and more easy seen. The eyeless ones care little for appearances. The villagers reflect this lack, being simple mud huts and mill decorations. All right, healing halo, heal. Wow, you would be kind of interesting to have. Interesting. Aspirate. One way aspirates the resources, gaining three XP, improve, uh, sharing the unit's vision, the region's owner. Interesting. Might be worthwhile popping down here and doing that in a sec. If I remember. So there's the north of the world. And you're out of movement. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of immediate scouting we've done. So I am going to bring you home and see if you can do that aspirate thing on that. I think you're out of movement. Oh, you've got one more. End turn. What we'll probably do is, once he's got here, we might unassign him and send him home, but... Not for aggression during Cold War. Do not fear the consequences. What can we say? Hmm. Start a negotiation. They've got 15 of this, and they're 23. Make a compliment. No, I'm not particularly interested in doing that right now. It's, um, leery, indifferent. Yes, you're leery because I tagged your hero. But then she attacked me. So you can learn from that. <laughs> 80 dust. Next one we get is 15 hole, 15 gold. And we can find it in four turns. 
All right, well, let's just do a quick nav thing. Can we get there in four turns? Yes. And then reassigning my hero would take two longer, so let's just have him head on back then. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, so yeah, this Lust for Loot appears to be going reasonably well. We're getting some resources out of it, and the gold's not going anywhere. Speaking of which, I think we could just buy out 409, 178 units, 345. Alright, so geometric labs, plus two terrain. So that costs us 178 gold for just drastically improving our science. Yeah, I'll have that. Um, and a titanium extractor. We'll queue that up before the units. Right. You require 10 pearls, which you only have two of. Okay, fine. Next turn. Yeah, the units are moving themselves. Cultivation in a couple turns. So we've now got that, so our science in here has gone up by quite a bit. That's nice to know. So I wonder if you can do this aspirate thing on that resource. Glass steel goes over. Research complete. Cultivation. Thank you very much. And use resource boosters. Right, we'll have a look in that. Does that aspirate? What are my aspirate resources when located on? Gaining three XP. Okay. No, well, it's not actually working yet, so fine. Let's, um, yeah, let's just stick you on auto explore for now. That's it. Go rub up against the enemy city. That's, that's really helpful. <laughs> it's not going to get you killed at all, is it? And we're just going to carry on moving our units. So we can get this quest for, quest Lust for Loot quest completed. So we're going to get that, the temple up and running next turn. So suddenly we should have Temple Riga. The altar of Riga is a sacred building for those who live upon her. It is the center of ancient power for the times, even before the endless. By bringing her pearls here and unlocking the altar's blessing, even powerful magical effects can be applied to city, region, or in empire. Quest complete. So we built the Temple of Riga as required, and our reward is 15 titanium. Back only the sky fin. Yep, all we've done for that one. Ready to step out, take your place in the world. Gardens, pre gardens protectors, and champions of Mother Auriga. New quest added to the Bounty Auriga. And when she held, beheld the light and the veil, Auriga brought us forth the Chosen, who lived within both worlds and changed between them, and she called us Alaya. Now that her altar has been founded, our faith renewed, we shall begin to impose the will of Auriga. Auriga. Though our cause is just, and we are our chosen, we will still remain humble. There is much to learn, but with knowledge comes strength. Strength and knowledge will both be necessary if we are to defeat the tools and lackeys of the profaners and save Mariga. We do not fear conflict, rather we will revel in the test of our faith. Those who dare challenge us shall understand why the wolves live in fear of shepherds. Reach a fervent level of approval across the empire. Luxury boosters are the best way of doing this. Faith alone must believe in our cause. Nothing of interest. Fair enough. I don't know where that was. Now that should bring you right up next to it, and we should be able to loot these ruins. Hero and army. Oh dear. Got 15 gold. Where are we going next? All the way up there. Alright, there's only one turn. That's done. You, my friend, I'm going to unassign you. Yes, you are now returned to the academy. It's a quick way. There's no point in having him walk. So let's grab that. Um, yeah. Create an army there. Uh, 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 
our honor city to select. Okay, infiltrate city. Act and satisfy. Assign to city. Madinav. Select. So, he's wounded. Upkeep of that. Sign for five turns. Inspect. I suspect he'll heal over time. But he is going to boost for a fair bit our food in our major city for a bit. So, he gets some experience from doing this, but mostly what I want is him in a better condition. So, seed storage gives us more food, husbandry gives us more food, and then we'll have a look at actually starting to rebuild our army after uh, once we've got those bits done. So we're two turns away from growth, no matter which one we do, so let's get the production done. Um, titanium extractor, we need more pearls before we can expand our village. Yeah, we need to rebuild an army before we can start picking off any more of these guys. So we've got 16 titanium. We just grab our hero. We should now be able to actually equip him with this much more powerful shield. And these two items for, because we've got the cash, all the basic units and items. Yeah, so we'll keep him with that weapon. And apply. So you are now just that slightly more tough. Probably could have done that when we got caught out. Yeah, I know. Glass, steel and die would have been amazing, but unfortunately I suspect there would have been a fight at the end there. Empire plans. So that costs us 20. Plus two vision on units. So basically we're spending the influence we've got so far on some of these. Unit production, plus three things, more science. Um... We're going to be building units in the immediate term because we need an army. Also, with that sat just there, that's far too tempting. So that's going to... How long is that going to last? Empire plan. Plan available. That's... Um, Sentinel neurology does what? Science. Okay. Let's bump that down for a little bit. Get the titanium extractor and those guys out. Is there anyone else? Yes, sewer system. Thank you very much. Yes, you have expanded. Um, I think I need to start spitting out settlers as well. And uh, so, 37 turns, we'll get that level lot. But your s unit, so you're currently under the effect of our cheaper policies. 19 turns. Okay. So the titanium extractor will be plus one in the city. Yeah, okay. So that's only two turns. Plenty of extra growth. Seven turns. Let's try and get our squad of units out as quickly as we possibly can so that we can start growing and expanding. We improved a lot of our civilization. Anything along here we can actually spit out just a little bit quicker. 82. Seed storage, 178. Growth. Ooh, plus 10. If I put one of you on... So, from workers... That would help. Yeah, I'm going to buy out the seed storage. Yeah, six turns until growth. Much, much better. Trade prospers. Appreciate you give into peaceful objectives. Start negotiation. Found nothing of interest. Okay. So I think my scout is auto picking off bits and pieces. Um, let's just spend a little bit to compliment these people. Indifferent. Leery. Indifferent. Fair enough. Just make these people dislike us just a little bit more. Our hero. Yeah, you're back up to full health now. You've been sat in the city for a bit. We're going to get you a new, a new army in the interim. So I think you are opening up places as we're going along. Not necessarily what I wanted, actually. Just keep exploring. We could build watchtowers. 
That's what these things are. We've gone into the Age of Glory, ladies and gentlemen. Which means we've researched enough that we're going to get the extra bits and pieces. Which sounds like a pretty good time. Empire Plan Level 2, Watch Time Federation Revealed. Now be Veterans Level 2, Second Tier Iron Weapons are available. Okay. Search Party, nice. So slightly better advances. New Eras available. So... What I'll do in the next episode, I'll talk all about that. In the interim, I'm not going to bother showing you do it. I am going to tinker um, with the um, units we've got to upgrade all their equipment to the next rank. We've got a, a reasonable amount of cash, so we want to make sure we've got our best fighting force coming out. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Endless Legend Sifters. Please remember to like and subscribe.